Hi guys, welcome back to this art channel that barely posts anything related to art. And today as an art channel, I'm going to tell y'all about my theory on Melanie Martinez's new album and film. By the way, if you haven't watched it, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but you should go watch it. It's so fucking good, like, so fucking good. So, as we all know... For those who have watched it, <laughs> the film is surreal as fuck and full of symbolism. And my big ass brain decided to watch it three times and bring it all down into nonsense and somehow make it work in the end. Also, as right now, when I'm making this video, no one has made a theory video after the film came out yet. So, I hope I will be the first one. And if I'm not, and someone already... Did a theory video on this, then I guess I'll just go to the corner and cry. <laughs> and I'm going to make this into a two video because my brain juice is not enough to talk about them all at once. Now I should stop. Now I should just stop rambling and let's just get started. To put it in the simplest way, my theory is that each song represents a grade from kindergarten to 12th grade. For example, Wheel on the Bus is kindergarten and Recess is 12th grade, yada yada. In the film, we see that everyone is acting childish and doing things that, well, older people wouldn't do, usually. For example, such as putting their ass on the window. <laughs> while, our main while our main character, Crybaby, being more mature than her own age, find all these very boring and childish. Being an outcast, she started to get bullied by others, as you can see in the film. Side note, I think that having black eyes symbolizes that these people are more mature than others, so like that's basically their power, because those who are seen as less chaotic later on are seen with black eyes as well. So, in kindergarten, well, in this case, we on the bus, Crybaby already realized how cruel the world can be. People won't help you because they think it's not their business, and adults will just look at this mess as entertainment for them. They never take kids' word or action seriously. The next song on our list is Class Fight, which is the first grade of this album. Even in the film, we can see that it wrote first grade on the blackboard, so boom, bitch. <laughs> A year later, the bullying didn't stop, but it just got worse. Crybaby's friend, Angelita, kept telling Crybaby to fight back, but she doesn't want to. One day, the bullying got to the point where it got physical, so Crybaby fought back. People are surprised. People are surprised by Crybaby's action because all this time they thought she was just a weak girl who is an easy target for being bullied. They started to be scared of Crybaby, even though she was just trying to protect herself. In the end, even though Crybaby was trying to protect herself, she also got into trouble. And I suspect even though it was not shown, but I suspect that she got into more trouble than that bitch Kelly, probably because Kelly's, probably because Kelly's parents play an important part in the school. This shows how corrupted the system is. After the incident in first grade, the school have very close eyes on Crybaby. They see her as a troublemaker and even try to give her medication to control her behavior. After the incident in first grade, the school kept a very close eyes on Crybaby. They see her as a troublemaker and even try to give her medication to control her behavior. This can also be representing how mental illness such as ADHD are overly diagnosed in young kids nowadays. The principal sent her to a special classroom for kids who have behavioral issue. We can see in this lyrics the separation of these places you've created. And also in the film And also in the film, we can see that Crybaby walked into a class full of let's just say 
probably all drugged up children. No matter how much Crybaby tried to explain to the principal that she weren't trying to cause trouble, the principal wouldn't listen because she, because he didn't really care about Crybaby nor any of his students. He's just there to make money. In the film, the blackboard shows that this is a third grade class, further proving my theory. So, as an outcast, Crybaby feel like she's being watched by everyone. Especially now that she's with the special kids, people judge her and does not even see her as a human being. She have to pretend to be someone else to fit in. The anxiety is very overwhelming. Crybaby feel, Crybaby feel like a broken doll being controlled by others. She is breaking down. In fourth grade, Crybaby often call in sick or go to the nurse's office just so she does not have to go to class. She is exhausted by all the bullying, and she just wants to escape. This song is very straightforward, to be honest, so I don't have much to say. But in the film, we see that it's not the student who's hurting her; it's the nurse, indicating that even knowing Crybaby is being severely bullied to the point where she does not want to go to school, the adults are still not doing anything to stop it. There's no difference between being an outsider and being the bully themselves. In the film, we see that Crybaby is in the drama club or drama class, even though the lyrics saying that she never signed it up. This indicating that she didn't want to be- pretend to wear a mask or pretend to be someone else, but she had to, but she had to in order to survive in school. But now she's done with all these bullshit. She decided to fight back. She's now stronger and older than before. So she was able to succeed. She is able to fight off her bully and the principal. If you didn't notice, rest of the album and the film does not have any more straightforward bullying, indicating that Crybaby stand her ground and letting others know that she won't be stepped on no more. She was able to wake everyone up and even made some friends in the end. In the film, in the film, students worked together to decapitate the principal. Can also indicate that elementary is over, cause some area do consider fifth grade as the end of elementary school. During sixth grade is usually when puberty hits us with a truck that is covered with spikes, and I gotta say, Strawberry Shirt did a real good job at portraying that. Ah, the time when we started to feel insecure about our body because of what the magazine said. At the time when our hormone is all over the place and we're ashamed for wearing short skirts. The time when we get sexually harassed but being told that they were just playing pranks. Ah, fun time. Well, after Strawberry Shortcake, we saw that Angelita got her period, which is another thing we usually get around this time. This song is very female-centered. Well, since our main character, Crybaby, is the male, it's not saying that guys got it easy during puberty, even though they kind of did, or that they never get image problem or shit like that. It's just describing the hardship that female go through during puberty, because the character is female. Well, that's my theory for K to six, and I will do part two hopefully real soon. I am so fucking tired, and and I'm not sure if this makes sense. Um, please tell me in the comment below if you understand or not, or maybe I'm just saying obvious shit and everyone already know. But you know, that's okay. Well, see you soon. Bye.